going to jump right in. Hopefully you can see this very, very well. We're going to start off by taking out products that we just don't feel like we're using, which I kind of feel like these products are going to stay the same. And then we'll move on to the next drawer. And after that, then we'll get into pulling out our Project Pan 2022 products. So I am going to keep both of my makeup wipes. I do have the Julep Beauty Toilets as well as the Equate Toilets from Walmart. It's the Walmart brand. So we are going to keep those. I kind of want to go through all of my lashes and figure out which ones I want to keep in here and which ones I want to take out because if you guys have been following me this past year in 2021 y'all know my business is closing down and we're doing a hard rebrand and you know all that stuff but we don't know exactly how long the rebrand is going to take we don't know when we will reopen so if you guys are interested go ahead and shop amblavish.com for the blowout sale if anything is still left and get those products while they're there because they may not come back so i don't know which lashes i'm gonna keep but this is the style king and i oh i'm sorry this is the style honey and I know I'm going to put these back in my drawer because I don't even have honey anymore. This is the style smile. And I'm going to put these back because I don't even have these anymore. Nasty. All these lashes are still available on my website. We have Moody. Snatched. Classy. And those are all the emoji lashes I have with me in this drawer so i think i'm going to keep snatched and keep nasty and i'm gonna put classy and moody back in the drawer so these two lashes right here i will be coming back out with these two styles right here but they will not be named the same thing so as of right now this is cocktail i think i have a few left on my website and this one here is nightlife these are highly highly favored and i honestly don't think i have any more nightlife on my website but i will be coming back out with these two particular styles of lashes so i think i'm gonna keep those i have my destination lashes i have two of them sitting right here this one is jamaica and i'm keeping that out and this one is Bora Bora, and I'm keeping these out too. These two styles of lashes are still on my website. My style queen, I have, I don't think I have any, but I am going to keep these out. Now, I do have a lot of my newer lashes. I have Boy Bye. I have Savage. I have Savage. Hey You. Angel is, I still have a few angels left, but I'm going to sit this one, put this one up. Lavish Boss, I'm going to put back. Dream Catcher, I'm going to put back. You guys, with all of the lashes, just go on my site and see if you can find me. Sorry, y'all. I had a phone call. Um, I think I was telling you guys, with all of the lashes that I'm showing you all, just go on my website and look for the particular lashes you're looking for or any other products that I will be showing you today. In this video, just go and look on my website and see if they're still available because I honestly can't tell you right off top what is available. But I think I'm gonna put all three of these lashes in the lash drawer, put those back. Um, we have Bad Girl, She's Single, self-love baby which i wore so i'll put those back i want to keep bitch i'm gonna keep high class confident casanova main stage i'm gonna keep all those in the drawer and put everything back so all of the lashes is gonna go back i'm only keeping a few and i think we're gonna pull 
a few. So next in the drawer, we're going to put these back in. Next in the drawer, honestly, is these highlighters. These are my first, first set of highlighters that I came out in my line. We have number five, two, one, six, and four. So we're going to keep these in, but these will not come back. So if you guys see them on the website, get them because these won't come back. Um, we do have the ABH Loose Deep Peach. We're going to keep that in. We have all four of my lip glosses. Um, we have Princess. This one is Money Maker. This one is Glitter Bomb. And this one is Naked. You guys, I may not come back out with these shades. So look on the website and catch the blowout seal. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but some things will not come back. We also have the Natasha Denona Witch Palette. Peak Palette that I got in the BoxyCharm. I have yet to use this, so I'm just going to leave it here. And we do have these palettes. We have just Peachy by Too Faced. Warm Neutrals Volume 2 by Sigma. We have Kina Otaveras Blush and Shine Kit. I got it in a boxy charm. And then we have the Wet n Wild 32 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to keep all these in, but I'm not quite for sure if they're going to be a part of the project pan. I also have the Lorac Pro Palette, the Chocolate Box. My twin bought me this, so and I have yet to use it, so we're going to keep this inside of here as well. And this year, the Project Pan picks will always stay in my drawer, but the shop mustaches will change. So I do have my hand sanitizer sitting right here. I got the Glam Glow Setting Spray. And I have the Rimmel Stay Mat. Alright you guys, this is the next drawer. And once again, we're going to remove the things that we don't want to keep. Once again, do not mind the dirty table because we're going to do a clean up. So I'm going to start off with these bronzers right here. We have the Sephora Bronze in 06. We're going to keep that in the drawer. I think I want to go ahead and project pan the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer yet again for the new year. So I am going to sit that to the side. I just came up with this. The things I want to keep in for a project pan, we're going to put in the basket. The next things is the ABH Blush Trio. This one is in Barrier Door. I'm going to keep it in here for now. I got nothing but mirrors back here and camera equipment. Um, we got the Fenty Beauty cotton powder. You guys, I think, I don't know if I could actually project pan it because this thing is basically still brand new. But I want to try to use as much as I can. So I think we're going to project pan that. We do have the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder and Sophia. She looks like this. And you guys can use my coupon code on Gerard Cosmetics. Check the description down below, but we're going to keep that in. We also have the NARS blush in here, and I don't think I used this yet. This one is in Taj Mahal. Yeah, I haven't used this one yet. So we're going to keep this in. So we do have a lot of lips, lip products here. I want to take them all out. I needed to sit down. My back was killing me. So for the lip products, you guys, I have a lot sitting here. We're going to put the Wet n Wild back. This is so... No, I want to use this. So Nor Cool. It is a black liquid lipstick. I want to use Fortune Cookie by NYX. 
I want to use this Huda Beauty Spice Girl. All right, y'all, I brought y'all in a little bit closer because this is such a weird angle for me to try to show you guys. So, I brought y'all in a little closer. Okay, so my Too Faced Sunday Funday lipstick. We only have this much to go, so I think I am gonna project pan it because I have had it for a while and I absolutely love this. So, I am gonna project pan that. All three of these are gonna stay. All of these are going to stay in the drawer. Bow and Arrow by KVD. So I think I'm gonna project pan this one too because I had it for a while. And this Gerard Cosmetics is gonna stay. So it's really no need to actually look in here besides this Sugar. Sugar Red is the comp fresh, 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 y'all. <laughs> And this is a lip balm. I had this for a while, so I need to kind of like try to use that up too. So we're going to project pan that. All this to stay. Now when it comes to the concealers, I do need to go ahead and finish up this Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Deep Sand. I had this for a while, so I need to try to use that up as well as my Fenty Beauty again. Y'all seen from last year. Last year's project pan did not go good, you guys. So, I'm determined to get it right this year. So, this one is in 370. I need to go ahead and try to use that up. And this here could stay. The foundation and primers that's sitting here, you guys, they need to stay for Foundation Fridays because I have yet to try them out. Over here is mascaras and stuff. No need to go through that. I do have products over here. Both of these are both of these are completely new. So the L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder and the L'Oreal Paris. So the Radiant Blush, they're both staying in here for right now. Now when it comes to my minis, I need to try to use a Bella Cappuccino and as you could tell we had a sticker from last year to try to use up Bella Cappuccino by Milani I don't even think Milani sells these anymore so we're gonna put that over there and try to use it up my NARS radiant creamy concealer in bisque you guys we have to use this up this year my Charlotte Tilbury KVD and Fenty. We're gonna leave those there for right now. And my MAC single eyeshadow. We're gonna leave there for right now. Now for sure, I know I could put this back because we're in the winter months. This is the Soul Body, the Soul Glow Oil. And Rosé, I never did use this, so I am gonna put that back. So as of right now, you guys, we're doing 22 products. So we have products so far so now what we need to do is turn our direction to our makeup drawer system and pick out 13 more items to complete the nine i mean the project pan products so let's head over to the makeup area oh you guys this is a new new angle how y'all like this angle <laughs> Okay, so we're going to choose only two foundations. I want to kind of keep the pickings to a minimum so that I won't overwhelm myself this year. So we're going to choose two. I am really loving this setup, you guys. Okay, we're going to choose two foundations. Honestly, you guys, if we get through any of our project pan, as the months go on and I update you guys, we can pull something else to replace that project pan okay so we do have the maybelline we have the urban decay we got two nars and you know what now that i see this nars this one is the all day luminous weightless i had it in a project pan once before and we're that much in this one is in medium dark five. We might as well go ahead and finish 
this one off. Now I feel like we need a drugstore. Since we got a high end, I kind of feel like we need a drugstore. And you know what? We're gonna do the Circa. We're gonna try to get through this. And the reason why I say the Circa is because I found this in my Walgreens maybe two years ago. And I haven't heard anyone on YouTube that I ever came across speak about this foundation. And I done spoke about this before in previous videos. So I want to go ahead and use it up. If I could find it anywhere, you guys, I will link links to all products that we're using in 2022's Project Pan. So this one is in, this is a color balance foundation and this is in the shade 10. And it is drugstore, so honestly, you guys, I think this is like either a full bottle or almost half a bottle. So let's move on to concealers and primers. All right, this is the best angle I could get without tipping my camera over my tripod. The new one is bomb, but you guys, this camera is so freaking heavy that I'm so scared the tripod is gonna tip over. So because we do have two high-end concealers, we have the Tarte Shape Tape and the Fenty, I feel like we have to choose Drugstore as the concealer option. And maybe it doesn't have to be two, like maybe. I'm just gonna sit this stuff to the side so I can get underneath these samples. First, I'm thinking of this Ruby Kisses face creator. Um, I found this in a beauty supply store. This is level nine. It has been in Shop My Stash. I mean, the Project Pan, you guys. It has been in the Project Pan before. So I kinda want to go ahead and use this one as one of the concealers of choice. So, with concealers, the next one. Ooh, you know what? Affordable wise, why don't we go ahead and finish off the ColourPop Dark 40 concealer? Like, you guys, we're, it's like wearing down. So, let's make this one the second affordable concealer i'm looking for a primer that i have used here's one all right let's just go with the nyx angel veil perfecting primer you guys i was the last one on earth to get this and i had wanted it for so long and ever since i got it I haven't used it like that much. So let's go ahead and work this one out. That there's a setting powder that I feel like I need to use up, but I do know this face powder from Black Radiance, the Soft Focus Milk Chocolate, I do want to finally get through. You guys, look, I need to finish this. I have so many more in my backup drawer. I need to finish this. I need to finish. So we're gonna throw that there. Okay, honestly, the only other thing I see is my Ruby Kisses Matte Finishing Powder in Chestnut. You guys, why haven't I finished this stuff? Why? And it's super old and super dirty. So we're gonna have that. Now when it comes down to highlighters, can you guys still see? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Highlighters is another hard one. Y'all, I'm seriously looking at everything like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> My Juvia's Place, Jazzy Girl Cosmetics, they don't, they're not even a company anymore. The Juvia's Place is kind of tempting. 
the this one is in heron i believe so i'm thinking about that one i'm thinking about the maybelline master chrome this one is in molten gold as we could tell it probably needs to be on the chopping board i can't even bring out the becca because becca is no longer a company i am gonna take these two highlighters and try to work them out setting sprays you guys literally i love them all so i don't even know what i will want to use up you know what let's finally work the pixie vitamin wake up mist out like why aren't we done with that now when it comes to the bronzer and blush um honestly you guys this one is going to be a hard one too because i basically love them all so much that there's really not one that i just feel like i need to get rid of but i know i got to find one because all i have is the ebony queen bronzer and we can't even find that in stores no more but i'm going to link the full spectrum bronzer because this is the remake of ebony bronzer so y'all this one is gonna be hard hopefully my head is not in the way this one is gonna be hard because there's really nothing whoa too bright for this time all right this is what we're gonna do we're gonna use colleen miss chic blush from shop miss a in the shade gypsy we're gonna try to use this up as well as the black radiance baked blush in raspberry we're gonna try to use this one up and honestly this is liners this is glitz and glam that's backup this is lashes and over here in these drawers is eyeshadow palettes and all right you guys i brought you over here because i said it wasn't gonna be an eyeshadow palette but let's be real when i looked in the drawer this was the first thing i seen which is the very first wet and wild comfort zone the very first formulation and i have excuse me i have both formulations the old packaging which is this and then yeah that's my cameras my security cameras i have both the new and the old so what i want to do is try to get as much use out of the old one that i can for the year but i am going to add this one and only liquid lipstick this is my l'oreal infallible pro matte lipstick and i chose it because it's looking like it's going out like as in we're getting to the finish line this one is in box of chocolate box of chocolate so i'm gonna add this one lipstick so that will make 23 products for the year of 2020 which it's really either one of these could count as the 22nd project pan item okay so you guys products that we will have on the chopping block for 2022 we have two foundations we have the circa color balance foundation we have the nars all day luminous weightless foundation in medium dark five we have the pixie vitamin wake up mist we have two highlighters, Maybelline Master Chrome and Malting Gold.
we have the Juvia's Place. It is the Heron Glow One highlighter. And just to let y'all know, I chose this because I don't use it as often as I probably should. We have the Black, not the Black Radiance, the Ruby Kisses Matte Finishing Powder in Chestnut. We also have the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finish. Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. We also have the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. I put a mark in there too. We have the NYX Angelville Primer. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. No, the Soft Matte Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark 1. Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator in Level 9. Black Radiance Baked Blush in Raspberry. Clean Color Miss Chic Blush in Gypsy. We have the Single Eyeshadow from Milani in Bella Cappuccino. We also have the Fenty Beauty Blotting Powder. We have three concealers which is the Fenty Beauty 370, the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Deep Sand, as well as the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 40. Three lip products, which is the Kat Von D, which is known as KVD Beauty. This one is in Bow and Arrow. We have the Fresh Sugar Red Lip Balm. We have the Too Faced Sunday Funday Lipstick. And then basically our bonus items will be the Comfort Zone by Wet n Wild First Formulation. As well as our L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in Box O, Cho Box o Chocolate. 